Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're going to make the Queen's Park Swizzle. Ah, refreshing cocktail. Mm -hmm. Great classic cocktail. Yeah. From the 1920s, created in the Queen's Park Hotel mm -hmm. in Trinidad, right? Right. Trader Vic says this cocktail is the most sublime form of anesthesia of the day. Or something like that. Yeah, that's a lot to be said about it. Yeah, that is saying a lot. Mm -hmm. And this is a delicious cocktail. Because we're using Demerara rum. Right. Which is traditional. That's the rum they would have used. Back in the 20, 20s, Trinidad wasn't the rum powerhouse that it is today. Right? Mm -hmm. That didn't start until after World War II. So they got their rum from nearby Guyana. Mm -hmm. Right? And... The Demerara Rum, which is named after the river that runs down uh, amongst the sugarcane fields there, okay. um, is a nice, heavy, fragrant rum, right? Mm -hmm. The 12 year old here is also aged in bourbon barrels, so it adds more complexity to it. Yeah, it gives it a good, uh, a nice, sweet, woody flavor. There's yep. even some uh, uh, flavor of tobacco and uh, uh, something else. I guess. Yeah. Can't well, it's just, right no, I mean, there's, you, you, you there's a lot probably of pick out a hundred things in there. It's <laughs> right? such a flavor bomb, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And that's what this cocktail is, too. We're also using a simple syrup, and you can use an ordinary simple syrup. That's totally fine. We're using a Demerara simple syrup, which is made from turbinado sugar, right? Mm -hmm. Demerara sugar, which is a.k.a. sugar in the raw, right? Right. The little things that Phil and I always steal at the coffee shops because they're so <laughs> darn tasty. Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah, and we do make a video to show you how to make the Demerara simple syrup, so... You can check that out. It's not real difficult. Yeah, and it's fun to add in place of regular simple syrup and all sorts of cocktails, yeah. right? Because it adds just a little extra depth, little caramely mm -hmm. notes to it. Mm -hmm. um, you need Angostura bitters, some mint, some lime wedges, and some crushed ice. Yeah. All right. It's worth it, you know? Yeah. Let's we're do good. it. Let's make we're it. We're going to start by putting eight mint leaves in the bottom of our serving glass. And we like using this Spiegelau, this is a Pilsner glass, a beer glass, because we like to have a stem to hang on to because the glass gets so darn cold, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The idea of swizzling a drink is to get the glass nice and frosty exactly. and the drink really cold. So it's nice having a, a stem on it. Usually you'd use a Collins glass or some tall, narrow tumbler such as that. Right. So we're just going to muddle these up with the other end of the swizzle stick. kind of express the mintiness there. And then we have the lime wedges from three quarters of a lime. Mm -hmm. So we cut up three quarters of lime, cut out, uh, cut off the ends, and we just have the wedges. And so we're going to squeeze the juice in and then drop the lime skins in. So we're going to end up with about three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. And the remnants of it, right? Right. And that adds, I mean, that's traditionally how they would do it, and that adds interest to the glass, too, right? Mm -hmm. And this is actually one of the first swizzles that uh, used citrus. Yeah. And so the, the uh, Queen's Park swizzle actually makes it the grandfather of uh, today's mojitos. Yes, exactly. Direct evolution there. All right, so mm -hmm. there is our lime. We're going to add the rum. We've got three ounces of rum. If you don't have a Demerara rum, the next best thing would be an aged rum something with a little bit of character to it. And I'm gonna get three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup here. And then we're gonna put in three dashes of Angostura bitters. Now traditionally, you would have swizzled the drink and then put the bitters on top, which is much more aesthetically appealing, right? Right. Mm -hmm. But because we put straws in and drink it from the bottom, you don't really get to enjoy the cloviness and the cinnamon that the bitters imparts to this drink until your very last sip, right? Right. And then it's too late. You're thinking like, oh, rats, that would have been good. <laughs> Why wasn't that in there before? So we just put the bitters, three dashes, right in the drink before we swizzle it. One, two, three. And now some crushed ice. Mm -hmm. Use our Lewis bag for this. You can watch how we crush ice in our Lewis bag in our tools and techniques video. We're just going to add ice pretty much close to the top of that. This is 
kind of the poor man's crushed ice machine, right? Mm -hmm. You don't have right. $10,000 to spend on one of those fancy <laughs> machines all these tiki bars have. Just get a Lewis bag, get a mallet. Yeah. There's something uh, very fun about just smashing the yeah. hell out of the ice. It's here, very therapeutic, so. right. So I right. going to swizzle this puppy. Yep, and we're going to use the swizzle stick here. And so you want to get that down in there nice and firm. So the swizzle is to chill the drink and to mix it up, right? It's going to abrade the mint a little more to give you a little more of the minty flavor and then distribute those lime skins which find their way back to the bottom at some point anyway. There you go. Now if you don't have a swizzle stick, you can use a bar, stu bar spoon mm -hmm. and you just hold it that there and then just spin it the same way. Although there's something a lot more fun about a swizzle stick. Yeah, it's fun to say swizzle mm -hmm. sticks. All right, we're gonna top this off with a little bit more crushed ice. We're gonna throw in a mint sprig and then a couple of straws. And there you have your delicious, historic, very nice, very refreshing Queens Park swizzle. Enjoy. Cheers.